In this video, I'm going to talk about whether all people with breast cancer need to get chemotherapy. Is there a way you can get through breast cancer without chemotherapy? Absolutely. In fact, many, many people with breast cancer don't receive chemotherapy because it doesn't improve your outcome and it gives you the side effects. There are people in whom chemotherapy is sort of a choice, where you and your medical team will talk about what's the advantage of chemotherapy in terms of improving your outcome and what are the trade-offs. Then there are a whole group of people who, in whom we do not consider chemotherapy at all. Those would be people with ductal carcinoma in situ, or DCIS, or non-invasive breast cancer. By definition, DCIS can't spread to other parts of the body. There are no cells that can take hold in your liver, lung, or bones, for example. And so giving chemotherapy, which goes through your whole system to try to nab and kill those cells, is not necessary. Some people who are initially told they have DCIS are later found to have a little bit of invasive cancer, and in some of those people, we will recommend chemotherapy. But in pure ductal carcinoma in situ with no invasive disease, chemotherapy is not part of your treatment plan. The main drivers of whether or not chemotherapy is part of your story include the stage of the cancer, which is a combination of the size of the tumor and the number of lymph nodes, and the biology of the tumor, and that's related to whether or not the tumor has the estrogen and or progesterone receptors. You can see our other videos regarding the estrogen and progesterone receptors. Depends on whether or not the tumor is positive for HER2, which is both a gene and a protein, and also some of these tumor um, profiles, they're sort of genomic fingerprints of the tumor. So we actually look at all of those together and to decide if somebody perhaps would not benefit from chemotherapy and would benefit from other treatment instead. If your doctor does not offer chemotherapy or does not recommend it, it doesn't mean that you're not doing breast cancer right. Some people feel that they have to go through every single treatment option to be getting the best care or to be able to call themselves a breast cancer survivor, and that's not true. You don't want to get treatment that's not likely to help you. It would be better for you to move on to the next phase of your treatment, whether that's radiation therapy or breast reconstruction or anti-estrogen therapy, et cetera, or some of our targeted therapies. In advanced cancer, we try to use chemotherapy when all the other treatments have stopped working or working as well as we would like. So in somebody with metastatic cancer, if the tumor is sensitive to anti-estrogens, we start with those first. And we do that because you can be on these treatments for months or years before you need chemotherapy and your quality of life is generally better. There are some exceptions well, where we would use chemotherapy first and then put you on anti-estrogen or hormonal therapy but in general, the rule is non-chemo first in advanced disease, whereas in early stage disease, it's the other way around. If we're going to give chemotherapy, we tend to give that first. But yeah, there are lots of people who don't get chemotherapy for breast cancer. It's about 50% of women in the United States and the United Kingdom. And um, it also depends on your menopausal status, where you are in the whether or not your ovaries are working. So I've covered briefly here reasons to not get chemotherapy. If you are advised to have chemotherapy, make sure you understand why it's recommended in your case. I hope this was helpful. If you want to learn more about your own cancer and treatment options, don't forget to go to yerba.com to get your personalized yerba report. And if this video is helpful, you can like and subscribe and that way other people going through the same thing or something similar will be more likely to find this video.